Hi, my dear students. I trust you are doing very well. It's time for chemistry lesson. Recall we treated acids and bases in the last two lessons. Today we shall be talking about salts, which is a major product of acid-base reactions. We shall start with salts in nature. Many salts exist in nature. For instance, sea water contains sodium chloride, potassium chloride, magnesium chloride, magnesium tetraoxysulfate 6, and potassium bromide. Secondly, the earth crust is made of minerals which contains different types of salts, such as calcium fluoride, popularly called fluorite, magnesium tetraoxysulfate 6, which is a major content of Epsom salt, lead 2 tetraoxysulfate 6 called galena, calcium trioxocarbonate 4, popularly known as limestone, and uh, it is the major content of our bones and teeth. Let's talk about color of salts. Sodium chloride, the common table salt, is a white crystalline substance. In chemistry, there are so many salts that have different colors. This takes us to the first activity on this topic. Please search online and create a small album of 10 salts showing their IUPAC names, formulae, and colors. You will discover amazing things. Now let's talk about definition of salts. Salts can be defined as a chemical compound formed by the reaction of an acid and a base. It consists of cations from a base and anions from an acid. A salt can also be defined as a compound that consists of aggregates of cations from a base and anions from an acid. Thirdly, a salt is a compound in which the replaceable hydrogen ion of an acid has been replaced by a metal ion or ammonium ion. Quickly, let's go ahead to talk about uses of salts. To do this, we shall take different sectors of human life. Number one, agriculture. Most of the chemicals used as fertilizers by farmers are salts, e.g. ammonium chloride, ammonium trioxonitrate 5, ammonium tetraoxophosphate 5, and potassium chloride. Anytime you see a fertilizer bag on which is written N, P, K in capital letters, that tells you that that fertilizer contains compounds of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, all of which are salts. Again, under agriculture, pesticides are mostly salts, and uh, they are designed to destroy insects, pests, weeds, and fungi. Example of salts used for that purpose are copper 2 tetraoxysulfate 6 iron 2 tetraoxysulfate 6 mercury 1 chloride and sodium trioxochlorate 5 in medicine calcium tetraoxysulfate 6 is the major component of plaster of paris used to mend or support broken bones iron 2 tetraoxysulfate 6 Heptahydrate is a major ingredient of iron pills, which is a dietary supplement for anemic patients. An anemic person is someone with insufficient blood in his or her body. Potassium chloride is prescribed as a dietary supplement for patients who need a low intake of table salt. Magnesium tetraoxysulfate 6 heptahydrate is a major component of Epsom salt. This salt 
together with sodium tetraoxysulfate 6 decahydrate, also called global salt, are used as laxatives. Sodium hydrogen trioxocarbonate 4 is an ingredient in antacids used to neutralize excess acid in the stomach. Barium tetraoxysulfate 6 is used to make barium meals for patients who need to take an x-ray of the stomach. This salt helps to make internal soft organs like the intestines appear on x-ray films. And finally, before we time out under uh, medicine, potassium tetraoxomanganate 7 kills bacteria, hence its use as a disinfectant. Lest I forget, tin 2 fluoride is added to toothpaste to prevent tooth decay. We'll time out here and come back later. Welcome back. We'll continue with uses of salt in different sectors of life. In the food industry, sodium chloride is used as food additive, preservative, and taste enhancer. Monosodium glutamate, MSG, is used as a food additive to enhance taste. Food seasonings, popularly called Maggi Cube, in Nigeria, irrespective of their brands, all contain MSG. Sodium hydrogen trioxocarbonate 4, found in baking powder, is used as a raisin agent in confectionaries. Other salts used as raisin agents are calcium hydrogen tetraoxophosphate 5 and sodium hydrogen tetraoxophosphate 5. Sodium dioxonitrate 3 is used to preserve processed meats like ham, sausage, and corned beef. It is also used as antidote to cyanide poisoning. Sodium benzoate is used to preserve sauces, fruit juices, and uh, tomato puree. In textile and paper industries, sodium hypochlorite is used as a bleaching agent and a disinfectant. Most cleaning agents or liquids contain this compound. Sodium trioxocarbonate 4 decahydrate is used in the manufacture of glass, paper, textiles, and um, copper 2 tetraoxosulfate 6 is used in dyeing. In photography, silver bromide is used in making photographic films and paper. In pottery, sodium chloride is used as a glazing agent. It is also used in making a freezing mixture used by ice cream vendors. In the soaps and detergents industry, sodium chloride and sodium hydroxide are used in the manufacture of laundry soaps and detergents, while potassium hydroxide is used in the manufacture of toilet soaps and bathing gels. In military, ammunition and fire safety. Potassium trioxonitrate 5 is used to make gunpowder and fireworks. Ammonium trioxonitrate 5 is used for the manufacture of explosives. Sodium hydrogen trioxocarbonate 4 decahydrate is used in the manufacture of fire extinguishers. In the petroleum industry, sodium hydrogen trioxocarbonate 4 is an important salts for refining. Underwater treatment, treatment rather, potash alum is used to purify water to make suspended particles in water to settle. Now we shall consider types of salts. Salts are classified in different ways. Let us take them one after the other. They can be classified as acid salt, basic salt, normal or neutral salts, double salts, complex salts, and um, later we'll consider other ones. Let's take these classifications I have mentioned one by one. We'll start with acid 
salts. An acid salt is formed by the incomplete replacement of the hydrogen ion of an acid. Example is sodium hydrogen trioxocarbonate 4 and uh, sodium hydrogen tetraoxosulfate 6. A basic salt is one formed by partial neutralization of a base. Examples include zinc chloride hydroxide, barium chloride hydroxide. Normal or neutral salts are formed when all the replaceable hydrogen ions in an acid have been replaced by metal ions. Examples are sodium chloride, sodium tetraoxosulfate 6, and calcium tetraoxosulfate 6. Double salts are formed by crystallization from a solution containing two metal ions. Examples are ferric alum and potash alum. I'm sure you are familiar with alums. Complex salts are salts consisting of complex ions called ligands. Examples are potassium ferrocyanide and tetramine copper 2 tetraoxosulfate 6. Salts can also be classified based on the presence of water of crystallization in their molecules. That is what we will start with in the last segment of this lesson. Let's time out for a break. You are welcome back after your short break. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Let's finalize this topic on salts by looking at classification based on the presence of water of crystallization. Hydrated salts contain molecules of water in their molecular structure or formula. These molecules of water are called water of crystallization. Examples are copper 2 tetraoxosulfate 6 pentahydrate, sodium trioxocarbonate 4 decahydrate, iron 2 tetraoxosulfate 6 heptahydrate, and sodium tetraoxosulfate 6 decahydrate. Anhydrous salts are hydrated salts that have lost some or all of the molecules of water of crystallization present in them through heat. Examples are anhydrous copper 2 tetraoxosulfate 6 and anhydrous sodium trioxocarbonate 4. Another way salts can be classified is based on their interaction with moisture and air. Under this classification, we have hygroscopic salts, deliquescent salts, and efflorescent salts. Hydroscopic salts are salts which absorb water or moisture from the atmosphere without forming solutions. Examples are calcium oxide and uh, copper 2 oxide. Deliquescent salts are salts that absorb water or moisture from the atmosphere and dissolve in it to form solutions. Examples are sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, calcium chloride, and magnesium chloride. Efflorescent salts are salts which lose some or all of their water of crystallization when exposed to the atmosphere. Examples are sodium trioxocarbonate 4 decahydrate, iron 2 tetraoxosulfate 6 heptahydrate, and sodium tetraoxosulfate 6 decahydrate. Before we end uh, this lesson on the salt, please write down this activity. Write a list of hydrated 
and anhydrous salts, five of them, state their chemical formula and IUPAC names. Second question, also write the name and formula of one example each of hygroscopic salt, deliquescent salt, and efflorescent salt. We'll end the lesson here. Please ensure you go through what we have done. God bless you.